Welcome back to another segment on the Black Street tonight. Africa that is rising. What are black people doing on the continent of Africa? What is Africa doing to progress? We are talking about transportation today. Well, transportation has been one of the major challenges on the continent from poor roads, oh my goodness, to these. Uh, I don't know what, how you call it in your language, but yeah, we call it aboboya. To something mega. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Now we are right back. We are still talking about transportation on the continent of Africa. Now, do you know what Uganda, led by the Museveni administration, is doing? They are doing fantastic. You know, the world is trying to go green, and so anything that has to promote the environment is welcome. Now, Uganda is producing electric buses. Should I even say has produced the Kayola electric buses. Now, these buses are produced by the Kira Auto Company, the national auto company that produces cars in the country. Now, they have set a target to produce over 5,000 electric buses by the end of this year. Now, one interesting fact about these buses, um, well, is that they are made from biodegradable materials. For instance, the floor of the car or the buses are made of bamboo. Now, the upper part are filled with solar panels that help the car to charge. Now, just with one charge, some of these buses can travel at a distance of over 300 kilometers without a charge. Wow, that's a lot. That can travel. If you're talking from Ghana, then that is Kumasi to Accra and probably a little bit in the middle of the road before you have to charge again. Now, they also have some um, internal use, internal transport buses that can be used for over a period of over 24 hours without a charge. These Kayola buses are internally made. Now, another fantastic fact about these buses are that inside has charger where well, you can charge your phone while still cruising on these buses oh my world now you can also enjoy wi-fi now that's huge sum of technology now the other bonuses are hand sanitizers to wipe your hands your uh, and your face for those with oily faces well, well don't go and spray your face with hand sanitizer it's not a bleach don't drink it I'm speaking in Donald Trump world. But what I mean is that these buses are fully furnished for anybody to fully enjoy its ride inside and outside of Kampala or any other place in Uganda. Banange, you did it. Banange, you made it. Now, another fun fact about the Kira Auto Company is that they have set a target, another target, I mean, to find or source all these materials that are meant or that are used for the production of these buses internally from Uganda and that's fantastic. Africa is on the verge of coming up with something great. Now I'm calling on African leaders to find a way to call for these buses, I mean demand these buses so that these people can produce in high quantities and enjoy what economists call the economies of scale to enjoy huge profit and produce even more for more countries while we develop uganda we are indirectly developing our continent let's dive right into another transport and major sector in ghana now the nana adodem kwakufuado administration of the ghana government have set to transform the ghana railway sector and just by the end of this week the ghana government have been able to procure Two MDU trains, I mean high-speed trains from China as a way of fulfilling the promise of transforming the Ghana railway sector. Now, you know, the Ghana government by the Nanado Denko Akufuado administration have promised to construct or add up, I would say, over 4,500 kilometer of rail tracks to the already existing ah, well, jeopardized ones as a way of revamping the rail sector. You know, railway, I mean trains, are one of the huge, I mean major ways of conveying freight and people all over the developed world. And so for nations who actually develop, it is paramount, it is imperative, it is important, it is salient 
for them to develop their real sector and Ghana is on the verge of doing that. Now, gone are the days when these were the trains that people ride. Even currently, these are the trains that you will see. But well, going forward, by the end of this year, as the new current real sector minister has disclosed that by the end of November or latest December, these rails will start operating. Now, these MDU trains that have been procured are said to be working from the Tema to Impakadan and through to the Ivory Coast. Wow, that's huge. That is going to, I mean, straight from the south up to the north. So people from Accra can be working in the north. Well, who cares? They can transport themselves and their luggage and their goods and everything through to the north and even cross the border to Ivory Coast and even Burkina Faso. So uh, what that we are trying to say is that Ghana is jumping in right straight into the transportation sector. Africa is developing. Rail sector is going to revamp Ghana's transport system and things like this will be in the past soon and shortly. Now, in other news that is not in the transport sector, we are going to talk about the Ghana National Gas Company. Well, they've come up with something huge and stay tuned we'll be right back again okay so welcome back in our last segment or in our last news we are going to talk about ghana's national gas company their ability to i mean think out of the box well, how did they think out of the box? You know, the Ghana National Gas Company were having a plant in a trouble in Ghana where it was fully operated by foreign experts. I mean, Chinese nationals, Chinese engineers, about 50 of them used to operate this, uh, I mean, se this, this, this sector or this uh, plant, uh, gas plant, wherever it was, in a trouble or wherever it was. And it was costing the government of Ghana about $3.5 million a month to pay these engineers. Well, how much were they taking? Well, divide 3.5 million by 50. Oh, that's huge. Wow. They're taking hundreds of thousands of dollars a month for printing that. Now, guess what? You know, usually when you employ foreigners, you have to pay a lot in terms of accommodation and all that. All right, so in 2017, the Ghana National Gas company actually had an agreement what we call the mou memorandum of understanding with this chinese company and said okay hey guys so you are giving us your engineers you are charging us about 3.5 million dollars every month for 50 or 52 employees all right that's what we want to do we want to cut down cost we want to save ghana's public purse so these are local engineers from KNUST. i mean Kwame Kwame university of science and technology from the game pass and all that please train these guys so that in the next four years they are going to manage this for us all right they said okay yes so they did and in 2021 these local engineers have been brewed yes and they are equipped they started managing it and it is saving ghana's public pays about 3.5 million dollars wow that's a hooping sum of money so that is it this is the black street tonight africa rising i've been your host bequim bernard boma you can call me ben Carson. we bring you news about a continent that is rising in terms of infrastructure culture education economy and everything wise if you want more of these kind of videos and content kindly subscribe share and leave your comment in the chat box below i've been your host bequim bernard boma you can call me ben Carson. until then see you with my next episode